That is genuinely fucking terrifying. <laughs> Shit. Hurry, troops. What's happening? What's happening, troops? Well, I've just got done messing around with endless audio problems. It's been a pain. And it's still not, like, fixed. It's not where I want it to be, but it's working. So it'll do for now. It'll do. So, um, time to play some Resident Evil tonight. Let's do it. Let's roll. Um, let's see here. So, where were we? Hello from me and Gary. Well, hello, Mr. Shredder Ross. What do you mean from you and Gary? Is Gary here as well? Or are you in the company of Gary? <clears throat> um, I saw in the last episode what was going on. I think we overheard Barry having a conversation with himself about the end of stars or something to that effect. So... But then he claimed he was speaking to himself. Hmm. Funny business going on there. So, Jill appears to be slightly hurt. She's holding a reside, the poor soul. So, I am in the company of Gary. Oh no. Hope you're um, socially distant in the company of Gary. Yeah, pair of animals. There's still plenty of kerosene left. Right, well. What we'll do is we'll get rid of the ink ribbon, for we no longer need it. Oh, I've got some herbs. Nice. And we've got a mixed herb. So blue is for poison? Is that right? Maybe? The residence key is the one that we got just before or after seeing Barry. And we shall combine these two herbs to make an awesome herb. An herb, as our uh, American friends would say. Right, um, what do we need then? Who knows? Let's just go and investigate. We don't really have to worry about dying at the moment. Because we've just saved it. Should we take that first aid? Nah. Probably don't need the crank either, but we can drop it off if, um, if we need the extra space in our inventory. See here. Right, so residence key, what doors can we open? This one apparently. Oh that was it. There's no further use for this key. Discard. Why? Of course. Of course. Uh, what are you and Gary up to, Ross? What are you dudes up to? Oh. Oh. That's not very pleasant. Is he still alive? Can zombies die by hanging? Who knows? What's he left? He's left some handgun ammo. Hmm. Do I want that? I mean, kinda. But oh, nice. I thought I would have to hold that as a different clip, so the fact that it it just goes on top of the ammo we already have is awesome. There's another clip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Will you take the self-defense gun? Uh, yeah. Suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same thing if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me in my life as a person. 
There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. You know what just kind of occurred to me reading that? Um, acting is kind of harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I was going to try and read that and like kind of passionately. And, uh, it just felt odd. Maybe I'll try the next letter I'll pick up. Like I was trying to imagine like I was, um, you know, um, reading a script for a, for a film role. But it's too awkward. It's too awkward. <laughs> He's going to fall down, isn't he? He's almost certainly going to fall down and make me shit my pants. Right, let's go in the bathroom then. So, Linda, please forgive me. I presume he has shot Linda with that self-defence gun and left her in the bathroom. Now, why am I doing this? I don't want to go in there, but... I feel like I should go in there. And that's the other side. Shit. Is this Linda? Looks like a dude. A well polished mirror. Doesn't look that well polished. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. Mm-hmm. I mean, that zombie ain't bleeding. I know he or she's going to get up. There's something inside the bathtub. We'll pick it up then. Will you take the control room key? Yeah. So, apparently, Linda worked in the control room. That doesn't look like Linda. I need to use some of those handgun bullets, don't I? I'm wasting my shotgun ammo. And I've got surplus handgun ammo. Toilet paper. They're very discoloured, though. That's pretty disgusting. Is that it? Is that all that was in the bathtub? Yep. Let's charge on then. Oh, I know why Gary's there. Gary's there to try and fix your PC, isn't he? Oh! Shoot him with a self-defense gun. Oh, shit. Shoot him. <laughs> Dagger in the face. Hit with a stun gun. He did. He did. Right, so we got a control room key. But where do we use the control room key? This is the question. Right, so I think I pushed the box over the wrong hole in the floor last time. We shall try and fix that this time. Oh, hold on one bloody minute. Ah, that is genuinely fucking terrifying. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Fuck you. Oh man. <laughs> Don't tell me we get crimson head zombies. I mean, spiders. Come on now. Right, so, what's this? A red oil lamp. It's not lit. Okay. So, I presume I'll need my lighter for this puzzle. Um, the partition is decorated with dishes. As, so I can see a spider up there. I can see a spider up. Fuck you, Mr. Spider. I don't um I don't harm spiders in real life, but in this game they can die. Quick. An advertisement for an arm wrestling contest. The winner will be named Chief for a Day of the Raccoon Police Department. Chief for a day? Oh, 
Where is he? Oh, he's on the outside of this this fence thing. Can I shoot through it? Oh, nice. Nice. So there I can see an oil, an orange oil lamp. Which I presume is also not lit. <laughs> oh, you dirty... Shit. I'm poisoned. Damn it. Okay, then let's just take this. We're no longer poisoned. It's a good thing we had that blue herb, or we might have been in trouble. Oh, what was that? Spider's just doing its thing. A green lamp. Okay, and what appears to be a book. Bandage with blood. Will you take the red book? Mm-hmm. Let's check it out. What you got for me, red book? <clears throat> it's a book with a red cover. Well, funnily enough, I could have guessed that. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Yep. It's going to go on a bookshelf somewhere. I do believe. Um, we will take this... F will we take this first aid kit? Yeah. Why not? <clears throat> right, so there's a green lamp, an orange lamp, and a red lamp. And if memory serves me correctly, this pool table has something to do with that. Green, orange, red, so red, three, orange, five, green, six. But what do the numbers mean? I don't know. Some billiard balls, two, three, four, five, six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but... But... Three, five, and six. It's not lit. Okay. Well, I think I'll need to go get me lighter. And hope that those spiders don't come back to life. <clears throat> Dear ye, I. <laughs> Sabrin, darling. I'm on the spiders. I'm on the spiders in real life. Spiders are cool. But in this game, they're big, giant, hairy, scary bastards. And they should be sent to hell. What's happening, mate? What are you up to tonight? What you doing? Mm, let's put the shotgun away. For now. Let's put the crank away as well. We don't need that, I don't think. And let's take back our lighter. Did not mean that. Oh, her... That's pretty cool. Her gun is actually in... Is it inscribed? Is that the word? Scribed with stars? RPD special team. That's a cool gun. I do like it. So let's see what happens when we light the oil lamps. Who knows? So, three was red, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. So let's light that. See what happens. A strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light, so there's an eye with what appears to be two eyelashes. <laughs> two eyelashes. Oh. My camera's died. Hold on, people.
just a second, people. So, hmm. so power delivery via USB is on to the camera, so I don't know why it died, but we'll see how long this battery lasts. Right, so we've got a kind of red eye under the red lamp. That's better. Oh, shotgun shells as well. Nice. So here's the green lamp. Oh, so that's also an eye, but it's got four eyelashes. I wonder what significance eyes have. We're going to have a puzzle with eyes shortly. <clears throat> that doesn't have any eyelashes, so yellow has none. Um, red has two. Green has four. And here, red is three, orange five, green six. Don't know what it means. Let's charge on until it becomes clear. Um, so what's next then? Is there anything of note on the walls? A rack full of wine bottles. They're all cheap vintages. Well, I think Jill's earned a wee glass of wine. Treat yourself, Jill. We could also well, pick these up, we'll combine them and put them in the chest. In case we leave here without them. Don't want them going to waste, no? You don't even want to put them to waste, like, eh? Oh no, I can't carry any more. Shit. Oh well, I'll just take one. One will do. Um, right, what's next? Maybe I better go and deposit that because I don't feel like I need it at the moment. We seem to have quite a lot of supplies. Not complaining. Mm. Should we put the lighter away? Nah, we'll hang on for now. I feel like I need some health though. Some health items. Let's put the lighter away and get a Put the lighter away and we'll get a first aid spray in its place. There we go. So, where else is there to go? This is the question. Ah, I'm supposed to jump over the boxes, not go around them. I see. 
I see you said the blind man. It's locked. The door plate reads gallery. Okay. So this is the room that we overheard Barry. Is that us done in the residence? You see a giant beehive? Oh, I clicked that last time and bees came in, didn't I? Shit. Is that just jars to my left? Doesn't say. What was in here again? Old newspapers and magazines lie on top of the bed. Someone appears to have vomited blood on some of the newspapers. That's not pleasant. Oh, bookshelf. Ah, so the, the red book is going to go on one of these shelves, that's well. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. There's a ladder here to climb down. Oh, yes. That could have been easily missed. And you could have spent hours <laughs> looking for the next piece of the game. The next part of the puzzle. What's this door? It's locked from the other side. Okay. Boxes. Get across the water. Yep. I'm kinda nervous now. I kinda feel like I want to save the game since it's been 20 odd minutes. And if I remember correctly, this is a big pool with sharks in it. In fact, didn't we learn something in the last game about that? About the root of the plant being in the pool? And we had to put chemicals in the water or something? I clearly leave it too far between playing the game. Um, like a week and a half later and I've completely forgotten everything. <laughs> oh well. Such is life. <clears throat> I do have a pretty terrible memory though. Even at the best of times. So I think there's sharks in here, and I'm scared they're going to one-shot me, or like one-hit me. Yeah, there's sharks in here. Are they coming? I'm waiting to see them because if they are here, I want to turn around quick and get out of here. And they were waiting for me. Shit. Turn around. Get out. You will not kill me. Let's go and save it before we try and evade sharks. I don't want to risk 20 minutes of gameplay for one minute going back to save. <clears throat> Although 20 minutes of gameplay isn't much, like, <laughs> I just don't want to have to repeat those steps. Fuck that. I feel like it's going to take like all year to complete just a few games. Like at this pace anyways, like at one episode per week per game, it's going to take forever. Probably need to up my efforts slightly. Yeah, I should play slightly more often. 
Do we need that book? Mm, I don't feel like we do, but... Keep it anyways. Oh yeah! <clears throat> right, now we can take on sharks free of fear. Let me know if um, if any of you guys who are watching, if you've played this game. Um, I've played it a few times, but I think I've only played it as Jill. I don't know if I've played it as Chris. I don't think I've played it as Chris. Can you change characters mid-game? I mean, I don't think you can, but I've got a funny feeling that... I played this on Xbox maybe five or so years ago and I had a save a save game point right near the end and um, for some reason I remember I recall like finishing it as Chris or maybe Barry but only only at the end though not the whole game I don't know uh, uh, go away go away two shots oh, you fucker Oh man, am I dead? Fuck off. Right, the control room, what's in the middle of this thing? Why the fuck are there sharks in someone's house? What is this? Use the control room key. Yeah. So the control room key was just a means of forcing me to go into that bathroom. Right, the warning lamp indicates that there is an emergency. Is it... Does it have to be flashing? Or does it just have to be illuminated? I don't know if there's an emergency. Maybe. Right, what's down these ladders? <clears throat> shake that booty. Oh, uh oh, shake that booty. Right, what we got? So we have a first aid. What does this say? An oil pressure regulator. There's no need to adjust the pressure right now. Okay. What do we have here then? Oh. Caution. In case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve number two. Okay, so if the pressure drops, we open valve number two. Yep. The aqua ring. Um... So we're in B2. Okay, hopefully this will become clearer soon. <clears throat> right, so that's the ladder we just came down, wasn't it? A pressure shelter. Oh, it's a big old shark. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. <clears throat> um, yeah. Why not? Oh, shit. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Um, so in the case of a pressure drop, it said open valve 2. But we want... What? We want to adjust the pressure down. Of pressure um, there's a control lever for the pressure shelter, but it won't budge until the safety is released. Well, where the hell is the safety? Help! Help! Error cannot resume drainage. The pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety. The safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. 
Ok. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oil pressure lost shelter, operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, so we need to open valve number two, I think it said. Which should be here, I hope. These switches control the oil pressure valves. Press which switch to. Is that it? Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. Oh, come on now, a safety release the safety. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Did we win? Yes! Fuck you, shark. So, that's that. The water is drained now, maybe? Hopefully. The door is held tightly shut by the pressure of the water. Pressure shelter has been lowered. Right, so we're safe. The safety has been released. Drain the water. Yes. Aha! Right, cool. The water has been completely drained. They do like draining water puzzles in this game, don't they? You know, like empty the bathtub, drain the giant shark tank. <laughs> as you do. As you do. Right. <laughs> dum, dum. Oh, that looks like magnum bullets. Um, not right now. I've got a feeling this is the exit. Yeah, that's a ladder. Oh, maybe I've went through that gate too soon. I'll collect those magnum rounds on the way out, hopefully. If I forget those, someone please remind me. I am rather forgetful. Um. Okay, so there's um, acid rounds on the floor. Or some sort of grenade launcher rounds. That's right, we have a grenade launcher, don't we? That must be in the... In the big old box. Right, what's this? An experiment monitor. Looks like it was being used to gather data on the sharks. That's a shame. Should, can I shoot that? Put it out of its misery? Oh, I can. That's me being the... Trying to be as humane as possible there. As humane as one can be when... Suffocating a shark to death. Oh, he's still in water, that guy. Hold on a minute. Can he... Can he still eat us? I'm scared. He did. The water flow control system, it doesn't have power. Okay. The water flow control system. So where do we want to flow the water? Who knows? I guess we can go back upstairs and check that. So in the middle of the big chamber that we we first went in when we were attacked by the sharks, I wonder if there's something you can access up there. I don't know. Well, we can try that ladder we just found. We'll try that first. <clears throat> bum, bum, ba, rum, ba, rum, ba, rum. Where do we go? Oh. The materials are labelled dynamite. They're soaked beyond juice. We'll see where this, this ladder takes us. 
Do, 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 do. It sounds like the puzzle. Uh, the puzzle theme. Puzzle music. We unlocked it. Oh, so this is the door outside in that corridor. I'll take it. Yeah. Oh! Ah, okay, okay, because we drained the wall. Yep. Makes sense. Lots of climbing ladders in this section of the game. Yeah, let's get... No, let's not get those bullets. <clears throat> do -da -do -da. Oh, someone's kept the floor nice and clean, look. It's mirror shiny. Very nice. <clears throat> I can see Jill's a confident ladder user. I definitely have both feet on each rung before moving up a rung. <laughs> Everything seems to be back to normal now. Well, what was the emergency originally? Is the place flooding with water? Well, I wonder actually, because we've drained that area, does that mean that the, the plant... Oh, there's a shock. Oh, there's doors. Does that mean that the plant no longer has a source of, like, energy or food or water? In case you're on for... Oh. What the fuck is that? That's a big old plant. So I think I've just answered my own question. So that would have been feeding on that water. And it's no longer feeding on that water. It has no effect. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. I could have been there for some time. <clears throat> Is that the only door? What the heck? Surely not. Um, I have to look at the map here. Right, so we are here. We... So we've missed something in the... Can you see this? Can you see this mouse? No. I don't think you can. No, you can't, unfortunately. Um, I'm a little bit lost now. What's the, what's the play here? Right, so this, this kind of container area that we're in, that's fully looted. So we'll go back to the ladder area and we'll look around I guess. I must have missed something obvious down there. Hmm. I don't understand. So did it have no effect on the plant because it was a pistol and it was too weak? Do I need a stronger weapon for that? Because it seems as if I should, like, I need to get to the other side of that, this room. Does it say, is there something I can read here? Nope. The locker is completely soaked. There's nothing special. That thing will almost certainly kill me. What if we use the self-defense gun? In fact, let's, let's examine this. Self-defense gun. 
a self-defense gun that fires 22 magnum rounds. One round has been fired already. No, I don't want to shoot that, do I? That seems like it would be a hell of a waste. <clears throat> Is that thing going to kill me if I step too close? Looks like the control system for the water tank, but it's broken and can't be used. I must have to find some chemicals and burn those roots or something. I would imagine. <clears throat> right, so. Yeah, let's shoot this shark. You did? Yeah. So this little room here is glowing red on the map, which suggests that there's something I've missed. Don't. See? Is there something here? I need to see. I mean, it doesn't seem like it. So down here there was some flow control valves that had no power. So how do we restore power? The water has already been drained. The system has returned to normal. There's no need to mess with it anymore. Well, we need power. My guys. How do I return power to the, the flow control system? Caution, in case of a drop of oil pressure control, open valve number two. We've done that. That's done. Wow. Yep, I'm stuck. Here we go again. If anyone has played this and they know what to do next, please let me know. I don't wish to be stuck here all night. Maybe we have to get some sort of chemical, attack that plant root, and then we can maybe somehow restore power to something. I mean, I don't even know how you restore power. Maybe if there was like a slot for a battery or something, I, I could say, right, I need to go find a battery. But I don't know what to do. Is there something here I can touch? The generator unit for the water flow control system. Pull the lever down. Oh, is that it? Surely not. That doesn't look safe. Um, what? Let's try it. This thing looks like it could electrocute you. Oh, there's a shiny key. What's that? Um, what? Did we just make that pool of water live? Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's only going to take an hour to re retrace my steps. Excellent. Damn. Right, so what exactly happens here? We reached into this panel, and the panel fell off. So he's alive. Is this, is this the game? He's alive now. Now we need to zap him. But he ain't zapped. What the heck? So are we going to be killed if we go down here? Surely not. Oh, 
Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> I might have to Google this to save the bother of doing it 16 times. My goodness. What if I interact with something first? Can I reach... Can I reach this? Hmm. Hey, what else is here? It's nothing. I mean, does this need to be turned on? I mean, is that is that me stuffed? Is that me dead? Because I can't... Ah! I actually done that by accident. That was not intentional. I just tried to... I don't know what I tried to do. I didn't try to push it. I just tried to click it. <sighs> see, when you see the answer to the, the puzzle, it is overwhelmingly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did you not think of that? Silly boy. Now we shall get the key. You take the residence key. Yeah, boy. Right, so. <clears throat> uh, you can, you can suffer. i had enough of sharks for one day. <clears throat> right, so that's that looted. I think we're done for this area. The only question is left about that, that one room where the, the plant root is. I don't know what you do with that. But I don't think we can do anything about it yet. There must be some chemical we have to poison that thing with. So we'll figure that out. We'll come back, hopefully. Once we've opened the other door in the residence. Aye, so that... That key we just picked up will unlock the gallery, I presume. You know that door that's marked the gallery? Right. Hey, let's go and save it quickly. Oh, there's blood on that door. I hadn't noticed that before. Let's go and quickly save it before going any further. Because I've had enough setbacks. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting chills. I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe it's the sound of those bugs. It's creepy. <clears throat> so it seems as if we're almost done with the residence then. I feel like that we need that red book any second. Um, let's put away the self-defense gun because I don't really know what purpose that serves yet. Let's put those away. Oh, actually, I forgot we have a a, a magnum. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's just. I feel like we do need some heavier weapons, right enough. We'll take the assault shotgun and we'll load it. And then that shall do for now. We'll take one ink ribbon. Hopefully. Yeah. <clears throat> there we 
here we go, we survived the shark. Yay! Right, normally I would like, I would leave after because it's been about an hour, but we lost probably 20 minutes there. So I'll play for another 20 minutes to half an hour so we can make a YouTube video worth about that amount of time, about an hour. Because I don't want all that running around to be in the in the edit. <clears throat> oh yeah. So let's see what treasures this door uncovers. What we got? What we got here? Oh, bees! Fuck off! Damn it! Fuck off! Oh. What was that thing? Oh, nice shot. Oh, yeah. Showed them bees. Oh, shit. Oh. Definitely, those bugs make my skin crawl. I literally get pimples on my skin. Right. So... What's this? The lock mechanism for the door. Use it. Um, okay. Ah! Hi. Please ignore the fact that Jill's costume is about to change. Long story short, the audio went tits up and I've had to re-record this part with someone else's save. And on their save, she was wearing a different costume. Let's continue. In my game, the two eyelashes was number three. That. Oh. Oh, never mind. No. So the red ball's three. The green is six. And the orange is five. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <clears throat> so, um. Yes, yeah, since I've already played this bit on the audio that went tits up, I shall... I shall give you some context as to what's going on here. It's locked. The, the door plate reads 003. Um, I thought I had a key for that. What? Ah, fuck off, bees! Fuck off! I hate bees. I don't hate bees in real life, just... Just Resident Evil bees. Fuck off. Please fuck off. Uh, look at the size of that stinger. Holy uh, Jesus. Please go away. Go away. Yeah, so I kind of know what I'm doing here. For the most part. Although I don't know where that key comes from. Will you take the insecticide spray? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We certainly will. <clears throat> Aye, the, um... In my original recording, or stream, for some reason the microphone audio, like, started going really choppy. I'll show you an example, just now. So that was mixing the red with the yellow, does it... Is it different if you do it in the other order? Let's see. So, um, I don't know why that happened. But the gist of it is... I have downloaded someone else's stream. Uh, sorry, someone else's save file. And I was quite lucky actually because I could only find two save files for this game. And it just so happens that one of them had a save point almost identically where I was at. Um, so I got lucky. Well, kinda lucky. I mean, it was unlucky that the, the audio went tits up in the first place, but I was lucky to find something that could fix it. Look at the state of that guy's face. Jesus Christ. What is that? Hmm. 
So um, this next part, I think there's basically two ways you can do it. So when we go in this room, <clears throat> in fact, I'll just I'll just do it rather than explain it. <clears throat> oh yeah, chemistry lab experiments. Oh sorry, the organic chem chemistry lab experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned th that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is to toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. UMB3 red, uh, 6 yellow, 7 green, 10 orange, 17 blue, and V-Jolt is a dark brown. <clears throat> so what I was alluding to there is the fact that when you go through this door, is that a door? I think it's a door. Will they push this away? Anywho, there's a door here. And when you go through, you're met by a giant plant. Now there's two ways you can try and defeat it. One is to just shoot at it with gunfire, and the other is using that chemical on the root. That root that we found in the the bills of that shark tank. So, since we like the scientific method, we're going to be scientists, we're going to be chemists. We're going to mix up some chemicals and what are the plants? Or what are the plant? <clears throat> So, in our wee chemistry lab here, there's something written on the wall. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, 1 plus 6 is 7, 10 plus 7 is 17, 7 plus 3 equals 20. Okay. Plenty of space in the inventory, so let's take some empty jars. Will we make some V-Jolt? <clears throat> So what we got here, we've got this red chemical, UMB number 3, take some, yeah, yeah, and we have yellow 6. Right, so, let's go back to our wee other arithmetic table. So 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, so we've got a 3 and a 6, so we can do, in fact we need to put water in another jar. Yeah. Right, so, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, and what does it tell us to do? 1 plus 6 is 7, so we need a 6 and a 1, which will be this, and water. Um, they'll make 17. And then 17 plus 3 will make 20. And 20 will be our V-Jolt. Oh, yes. <clears throat> oh. oh, yeah. Um, so let's go apply V-Jolt to the, the root of the big-ass plant. Hmm. <clears throat> Do we have enough health? Yeah, we've got enough health. I don't think there's any bad guys actually to cause us damage. <clears throat> How do we get there? That's the question. Oh, it's at the... It's at this back door, isn't it? Sorry, down the steps. <clears throat> I need to find actually what was the website I used for the save file? Um, the I think it was thetechgame.com. So if you're looking for save files for any reason, um, 
those dudes give them out for free. Although, take my advice with a bit of caution right enough, because it may be filled with viruses, I don't know. I don't know these things. So far, mines doesn't seem to have been infected. <clears throat> actually, I'm just on the main page. It, there's actually a lack of advertisement, which is quite nice. Usually these websites are covered in adverts. <clears throat> oh, I'm out of beer. Excuse me while I pour a beer, please. Can you see who we're drinking? Today we are drinking Warsteiner, a German beer. Don't know if it's any good, but it tastes good, but... I've been to the, the Belgian Grand Prix a few times, as in the Formula 1 Belgian Grand Prix. <clears throat> and it's, um, what is it again? It's at Spa Frank Frankerschamps, but it's it's really close to the border with Germany. And what me and my friends tend to do if we're going there is that we nip across the border to Germany. We go to a supermarket and we pick up a bunch of Warsteiner. So it kind of, it reminds me of um, campsites and Formula One and being far too drunk for <laughs> my own good. Good times. Oh. Am I going the right way? I think so. One thing I commented on the original video was how shiny the floors are. Really clean floors for an old decrepit. I mean, this, is this even a mansion anymore? Is this a house? This is... Goodness knows what this is. Shark tank. <clears throat> Cheers, troops. <clears throat> I don't know if this plant root can actually harm you. Certainly hope not. <clears throat> Oh. That was longer than five seconds. We've been lied to. You probably don't need the bottle anymore. Throw it away. Okay. You probably don't need the bottle. Looks like the control system for the water tank, but it's broken and can't be used. Well, that's us then, isn't it? So, we've beaten the plant with our brain, rather than our brawn. Although I don't really have either, usually. Fuck you, shark. <clears throat> and with a bit of luck, this time the microphone audio is not choppy and hasn't broken. Pretty sure that music was in the original, wasn't it? Do 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 do. Like the original game. The OG. Resident Evil. I think it was. <clears throat> right. Is there anything I should fear here? Anything that's going to cause me harm? Don't know. Let's get the magnum equipped just in case. <clears throat> so.
So I, I've lessened my, I've, blah, 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 blah. I've learned my lesson the hard way. This time, I'll, in future, I won't be overwriting my previous saves. I'll be making new save files every time. Because you never know when you'll have to go back 20 minutes and re-record something. And then you can't because you've overwritten your save. <clears throat> silly boy. Silly boy. Right. What, what else is in here? Will you take the ink ribbon? Sure. Baddie's in the bathroom. Oh no. Help. Help. Oh wow. Big plant roots in this bathroom. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. So, more... More puzzles. Where we have to drain baths. There's something in the bathtub. Will you take the dagger? That's a nice dagger, it must be said. That's a nice dagger indeed. Is that it? <clears throat> right, so the last thing we have to do is to arrange this little puzzle here. The bindings of the book seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books. Yeah, so that looks like the leftmost feet. So we'll go over there, and then what's next? That looks next. Um, yep, what's next? The knees. Oh, that up. That was lucky. Right, so. And here is the next part. This, this typewriter was the end of the last episode, so what I'll do is end this video here. Oh, you only have eight save files. Oh. <laughs> it's like pure ancient technology when cards could only have so much space on them. So, um, so the one I'm playing on is a 17 resident store room. It just so happened that the guy's save file that I downloaded, there was just one there. That where I was. That was really, really lucky. So again, thanks to the tech game for free save files. Thanks to the guy who uploaded it, and thank you for watching. Um, hope to see you on Twitch and YouTube for the next video. Right, dudes, take care. Love you all. Cheers. Bye-bye.